Welcome to another part of the Cortress Seal 2325 requirements videos. In this series, we talk you through the new Cortress Seal requirements for the period from 2023 to 2025. You will learn about the details of each requirement, the evidence expected from applications, extended guidances, and the changes compared to the previous version of the requirements. This video covers requirement number 16, security. It gives a summary and highlights the most important aspects, but please do refer to the full guidelines and extended guidelines for the complete requirement text. If you have not already done so, we recommend you watch the general introduction video to this series first. 16th requirement of Cortress Seal is security and reads as follows. The repository protects the facility and its data, metadata, product, services and users. This requirement makes it explicit that security must be taken seriously given the fragile nature of digital objects and the risks associated to their life cycle. So why is this a requirement of a trustworthy digital repository? Trustworthy repositories must evaluate their strengths and weaknesses of the preservation of the digital object they store in a risk analysis. They have to address the threats that could affect them most in a security plan that will guarantee the safety of the overall organization. The evidence that is needed in the response statement for this requirement should make it clear that the repository understands all risks to the digital and physical environment applicable to the service provided to the designated community and has put in place mechanisms to prevent, detect and respond to a security incident at all levels, facilities, systems and software. A couple of example statements are presented here to further explain what sort of evidence is expected for requirement number 16. Please note that these are samples and by no means a complete response statement. There are actually no bad evidences as long as security is addressed explicitly in this requirement. Industry standards such as ISO 27001 are welcome. Changes have been made to this requirement compared to the previous version. Actually, almost none. The place in the order and structure of the requirements has remained unchanged. This requirement is still related to the topic of information technology and security, and slight changes have been made to the guidance text to better clarify the evidence expected in the response statement. concludes the instruction on requirement 16 of the new core trustee requirements. Similar instruction videos can be found on all the other requirements on the core trustee YouTube channel. You can find the full set of new requirements for the period 2325 on the core trustee website. If you have remaining questions or would like more information, please contact core trustee using the email address shown here.